I remember seeing that photograph come through and download in my office and I swore. And uh, I just <laughs> thought, that, that's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. What could possibly trump that in this category? Well, this could. <laughs> this could. What, a, what an extraordinary image. Um, remember we're in creative imagery here. So this is a, you know, a, a photograph which has been changed, it's been added to, it's been manipulated, if you like. These are all words which typically in the field of bird and wildlife photography we're all scared of, we don't like to go near. But again, hats off to this competition for giving a, a platform for this sort of, of, of work. So here we have these flamingos uh, engaged in a bout, as it were, and uh, there are four birds in here, and then this explosion of grey dust. I mean, it's just so powerful and so graphic, and the colours are so punchy. I mean, this is a, a, a remarkable image. And again, when all of the judges saw it, I just remember that we were all startled by it. Um, there was initially, we were, well, initially so startled, um, some people were thinking, oh, I surely have gone too far. But you can't go too far, can you? Because it's creative imagery. Okay, this doesn't have to be a representation of reality. It just has to basically be birds and creatively imaged. And, and it has been. Um, this is a, a fantastic photograph. Pedro Jarki Krebs has taken this, and Peter is going to give him his award as a winner this year in this category. Let's hear it. You've seen the winners. The practice is that we choose one of the category winners as the overall winner, having gone through the process of, uh, uh, of breaking them down to that. Um, this year there was a, a lot of debate actually about the winner, and this is a healthy thing. We have a, a board of judges who <coughs> range from the sponsors um, to the photographers uh, to other experts who, and people with an interest in, in birds, representatives of the BTO as well, of course, plus. Uh, Rob at, at, at all as well. Um, and it's important that we have a collective view. It doesn't mean that our collective view is right, and there may be people here who disagree. I mean, you're going to struggle with this, week, But um, you may, and that's part and parcel of it. You know, who are we to know what's right? It's a subjective opinion. And after matters of essential quality and technical excellence, it, it does come down to that subjectivity. Speaking for myself, I think this year's winner is both important because I think it sends out a message to the bird photographic fraternity and I think it's startling and I think it's it's a brave image for us to choose as a winner and that's one of the reasons why you know I, I and many of the other judges are very proud to be associated with this competition this is a competition that's been set up to break new ground and it's doing so with gusto and with energy so this year's bird photographer of the year goes to 